probably a trail walk to in a, in a little park down there. We're gonna see how it is. And we will update you as soon as we are there. to downtown Tarpon and we're about to go explore the different little shops and restaurants and should be a lot of fun yay so we actually didn't stay on the main drag very long and we're currently walking an unknown distance to their sponge docks and we've heard that there's really really good Greek food here in the sponge docks so we're walking to go get food and then we're going to come back and explore the rest of the downtown area. sitting waiting to eat we've got our buzzer for that was good hellas hellas bakery and greek cuisine something like that um but we're yeah we're chilling we're waiting i had to get a different shirt because my sweater was way 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 too heavy where did i oh they're behind us but um sweater was way too heavy so i got a new shirt and now we're chilling waiting with the butt with the water behind us. <sighs> What's your thoughts? Opa. So we went to that Hellas place for um, lunch. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right at all, but we got the very first thing on the menu do you remember how he pronounced that, Blake? I don't, but it was very, very good. It was some, like, flame charred cheese. It was very good. And I was so upset because I had no idea that he was going to, like, flame it in front of us or how it filmed it. But it was a pretty cool show, and then everybody yelled, Opa, and I loved it. It was so good. And the food was amazing. I don't think we sat for more than like three minutes without food the whole time. He just kept coming back with rolls and then with our food and it was all so good. So our I would definitely- very good. Very, very good. So I definitely recommend that place if you're going. Um, now we're walking back up to the main downtown area where we are parked. And we're taking a couple pictures along the way for the blog. So definitely stay tuned for that. What 
you don't really see in Instagram or in most people's videos. Someone has to carry all the sweaters when it just randomly decides to heat up like 10 degrees and you're two miles away from your car. So behind the scenes footage for you. We made it back. They said it was really cool, so we're gonna go scope it out. And we're gonna use the bathrooms. Public bathrooms for the win. <laughs> You're gonna get dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so we are currently at Brooker's. Brooker's Preserve. Brooker's Preserve. And I'm overall very, very, very impressed. This is a very nice boardwalk. Here, I'm gonna. Woo! Wow. So nice. Very peaceful. This is the trail we're supposed to be on, covered in water. So we've improvised, and here we are. Caution, uneven terrain and underwater obstacles. Hike at your own risk. super sad because the black water cutoff trail was a no-go um it hit the point where we could no longer strategize staying dry and it was like you're either wet or you're not going any further yeah so we figure we'll come back when we're a little bit more prepared like when we're not wearing tennis shoes and we're wearing actual real hiking boots or something we'll be ready next time we're gonna take it down. But this trail honestly was really kind of cool. Um, you could complete the first part of it staying on the um, boardwalk and then the second half of this trail or like the other part cause they have different names um, is all on a path like this. I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll try to take a video of it. But um, yeah, so it's as advanced as you want to get it, as creative as you want to get. Any thoughts? It was a great trail, honestly. Next time we're gonna go off, off the beaten path, and we're gonna try to get this other trail done <laughs> without tripping. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna do our best to complete all the trails out here. It's a really good place. So we actually decided to stop at this like random farmer's market. And we're getting ready to go in and I'm super excited. So we'll see you when we're out. What's your 
frustrating. It's a good 8 out of 10. I've never had mango lemonade before, but this, I, I would give it a 9. Very yummy. All right, so we just left the farmer's market. We just got a couple drinks, and we also got some jams. So overall, pretty nice. We're getting ready to head back now, so we're going to end this video here. And I just want to let you guys know that if you check the description box below, you'll find a link to my website where we'll detail everywhere that we went today and maybe how to structure your day to Tarpon Springs. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we peace out, Blake? Good jams. <laughs> All right. See you guys on Wednesday. Bye. I was dying in my sweater. Not about that either. <laughs>